Just go. Just go. Look out and not down. Um, they, it's like riding a horse. Instead of looking down, you this look. Is really what I was thinking of. Yeah, you look out where you want to go, not down where you are. Try it one more time. Coming back down. Out ahead. Where are you going? There you go. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You got it. You, you got it. You got it. Woohoo. Go, baby girl. Go. Look at you, Austin. Woohoo. Serious farm wife fashion going on this morning. Got some mud. Got some hay moving. Hay holding moving. Hay rack. Whatever you want to call that thing. That my husband made a few years ago. These things are the bomb. They're heavy Chevys. Mm -hmm. Got some happy heifers eating breakfast, and now they have dessert. It's all good. We're back at the river, the Pamlico River, where my mom was raised down here. The kids and I are taking a very quick trip from the farm to help celebrate my great aunt's birthday and visit with some family and we'll head out tomorrow morning and get back in time to help with silage. But first, a day here. I stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together down. Heading home from the river, the beans in eastern North Carolina that I've seen look pretty darn good. <laughs> they look really good. <laughs> we just got home and he just got home and she had to rush out here to tell him about the skate or the ray that she caught last night. Look, that big. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> well, here we go. We're home and it's a uh, full blown silage chopping prep mode. So, I don't know, four or five different pieces of equipment need to be filled up with fuel. They need to be moved around. Uh, the chopper needs to be greased. Lots to do starting tomorrow morning. So, here we go. So much for vacation, it's over. <laughs> but it was a good rep Bonnie! Did you miss mommy? Mommy missed you. Okay, let's trade flip flops and shorts for jeans and boots and get rolling. You ready to roll? No. <laughs> well, too bad. <laughs> Here we go. The old one of the old tobacco barns I was talking about uh, a few videos ago. I think you call it a pack house. So he's been working on cleaning out the silage pit this weekend while we were gone. 
the kids and I were gone. And yep, she's ready. Woo, it looks so deep without any silage in it. That's what we got. We're gonna fill that bad boy up over the next few days. I'm gonna take the blade off the back of this not necessary. The guy that's going to pack isn't going to use that, so I'm just going to get anything unnecessary off the tractor to make it easier. Now we're taking the spear off. It should just come off. We got it ready. There we go. We're doing some preventative maintenance here. Gonna have a strap in case the truck gets stuck. Extra tractor at the silage pit in case something happens. So he can keep, he can, the guy that's gonna be packing along with my son can keep rolling. So, thinking ahead. Sometimes that's, that's good. Going to fill everything up with fuel. I think my dog is happy to have me back. You get a break this week, girl. The rake. And well, Bonnie always gets a break. So I feel like we are, I feel like I'm running a marathon again this week already. Oh, it hasn't even started. Um, whoops, here we go. But energy is high. Humidity is high. Nerves might be a little thin. <laughs> it's okay though. It's all gonna be good. I just hope everything goes well. It sure looks like it's gonna rain. Okay. Next stop, grocery store to get all the things for lunches. Drinks, nams, sandwich meat. Actually, I'm gonna make the guys burgers because they like that. And it's the least I can do. Feed them a good homegrown burger. <laughs> but anyway, okay, we're getting there. Okay, groceries are bought. Um, I'm going to check on the boys and see what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're greasing, greasing the chopper and getting it ready. Then I'm going to get drinks packed in ice and ready to go and figure out supper which is probably going to be a BLT. In fact, we might have BLTs four nights in a row. <laughs> oh, I laugh, but really that it might be what we're having. This drive-by view will be changing very shortly. Should have recorded that. Said he has to zip tie the wires together. Because if not, then they won't make a connection. And it won't work. So, there you go. Pull out. Watch that side over there. Okay, it's mighty close. Hmm. You got it. Ooh, barely. Just a, oh, oh yeah, Justin put up there too. Alrighty. Now to Greece. Greece, uh -huh. baby. All right. I don't know why that's so satisfying. I think it's nasty. Please. All right, watch for walls. Watch for walls. Do you have any starter fluid? Yep, yeah. there goes one. Don't want to get stung. We don't want to get stung. 
Wesley got stung two weeks ago. You see how I kill him? Take you just, back your hand and hit him. Just take your back of your hand and hit him. That's all you gotta do, Wes. <laughs> just remember that next time. Okay, I'm gonna leave them to degreasing. I'm gonna go home and make BLTs for supper and we're gonna call it a night and we'll be back in the morning. Scraggly morning voice and a foggy morning. Bonnie's Bonnie's got something in her throat. It's lovely. And it's silage day. It's go day. I'm gonna unload the cooler and get rolling. Food station, nabs, granola bars, drinks, here at the silage pit. Here we go. So when it comes to silage, I don't do anything uh, on equipment. I'm gonna try to do some ride-alongs so I can show you some more. I'm basically the runner, if anybody needs anything, and I'll make lunch. <laughs> um, and I'll probably help pack some at the end, towards the end of the day, if, if needed. So, I'm a fill-in and a runner, which is fine. Right, Bonnie? Bonnie, Bonnie's just happy to be here. Bonnie's happy that her mom is back from out of town. She acts like she missed me a little bit. <laughs> well, the backhoe operator's not here yet, but here goes the very first load of the year. And like Flynn. Well, this morning is starting out with a bang. The first load in and the truck wouldn't go up the hill on the way out. It's wet. And uh, so I had to pull it out with this tractor, which always makes me nervous. And it took, how many tries did it take away? <laughs> About five tries to find the right spot to get the truck up over the hump, but I did it. I need more coffee. And I really hope this isn't the case the rest of the day, because if so, I'm gonna be parked here pulling the dump truck up the hill all day. <laughs> no! <sighs> Woo! Um, he got out with a second load, backed up a different way. But the problem is the grass down there is really wet, and, and then he's coming out and he's not loaded, so he doesn't have a full load to help gain some traction. I guess I think that I think that's right. I hear you, babies. I'm coming. I gotta go feed calves, and I gotta go get some different drinks. I forgot I got the wrong kind for one of the guys. Oh boy! Let's go, Bonnie. Get in! Get in! My husband already loaded up the buckets this morning or yesterday. 
So, now to feed the babies. A little late. Better late than never, though. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Another th fun thing about the Zuki is that brakes don't work. Handbrakes don't work. <laughs> so you gotta park it where it won't roll. Come on, babes. Good thing about this thing though, it will basically go anywhere. Got 38. Coming in hot. Okay, Bonnie, one more stop for now. Deliver some Diet Pepsi that I forgot to buy yesterday. Here comes load number four, I think. Should probably be number four. So we have one guy on a backhoe. His name is Junior. Jimmy's driving the silage truck. And my son's down there on the New Holland helping pack. pretty green so what he's doing now is he's going down there he's backing up he's getting a running start up the hill and that's been working thankfully8.30. It feels like it's 2. <laughs> Woo. It's going to be a fun week, y'all. It's going to be a fun week. If you ever drive a tractor, you'll know what I mean. I, when I get in my truck, after I've been on a tractor, or even in the little Zuki, um... I'm, I'm trying, and my truck is automatic. I'm trying to shift gears. I'm trying to find the clutch. And it's not there. You know what I smell? This. This is what happens, y'all. Do you know why this happened? Because I was responding to YouTube comments. <laughs> trying to catch up. Totally forgot I had tea on to make. Oh, and this is what I do. I, uh, I boil water out of a pot very very often so take two okie dokie i've got two pounds of hamburger 
balled up. I mean, yeah, it's balled up. And I'm gonna make my little patties like so. I'm going to broil these because I still have not fixed my grill. If y'all saw that, um, that video where I talked about the grill not being right, I still haven't fixed it. So it is what it is. The broiler works fine and that's what we're doing because I'm in a hurry. I don't have time to babysit a grill that's got a huge hot spot. So, anyway, here we go. Do you like this? I'm pretty sure I've showed this before, how I patty my burgers. Um, because I'm not really good at making patties, and this <laughs> really does the trick. Get it? It does a trick. Okay. I just realized that I didn't buy hamburger buns. I didn't buy hamburger buns. And I'm waiting too late to get this going. This is the story of my life. And we have burgers, two types of cheese, tomatoes, and sandwiches ready to go. Also, these fun little foil sheets. Yeah, I only use them this time of year for this one thing, but they make it so much easier to get it to the field. Okay, let's do this. One little burger, two little burgers, three little burger, say it with me, four, <laughs> tomato, 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 salt and pepper. Everybody likes salt and pepper on their tomato, right? Hope so. Holy smokes, these look good. Alrighty. Now we will wrap them. Watch, this is so fun. Okay, I just dropped off lunch for half of the crew, and Jimmy, the silage truck driver, said they've already gotten 23 loads since this morning. Started at, start, the first load came about 7.30, 7.45, and it's 12.12, so they're rolling. I'm gonna take you for a little ride along in a little bit. Look at my boy. Teamwork, right here, y'all. How about that? So we call this packing silage. For those of y'all that are not familiar with this process, it's, it's packing the corn, the silage down. We need it packed as tight as possible so we can get as much as possible in the pit. <laughs> and over the next few days, you're gonna see this thing fill all the way up. And just all day long, it's pack, 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 back and forth, back and forth. This makes load 25. And he's rolling. He's getting there and back in less than 10 minutes. But he doesn't let any grass grow under his feet or his tires ever. <laughs> he's a hustler. Good old cow chow. Try not to trip over corn stalks.
off in the truck with Jimmy. He said he doesn't want to be on video, but we'll see. But I gotta get in fast because he's so fast. the man driving the uh the truck for us he um he does all of our tractor work that lawrence can't do if there's something lawrence can't fix he can fix it he's really great he's the one our friend who found the mule for us he's just a really great friend his family are great friends um just a reminder about this field it's my husband is not so excited that i'm showing it on youtube but this field was gonna be our picking corn. So it was a different variety. It was not for silage, but then it didn't make much ear at all. It was definitely not gonna be good for picking. So this was the next best thing to do something with it without just totally calling it a wash. So once they finish in this field, I'll go down to the river bottom where that corn does look much better <laughs> and um, show you that later. Busy day. back to the pit I just went and got some more ice I'm going to refresh the cooler so it'll be good to go for the morning look at that y'all can't really see it because it's dark but it's so pretty it's so pretty when it's all packed and it smells so good and it's so high wow what a difference today makes 